Hi Sagittarius, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you a weekly tarot reading for the week of October 4th to the 10th, 2021. I do want to uh, take this moment to thank you so much for joining me, but I also want to remind you to, as always, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. All right, we're going to begin by pulling uh, five messages from five oracle cards from the Sacred Forest Oracle deck. Just added it to my collection. It is absolutely beautiful, okay? Falling in love with it instantly. And let's just uh, pay attention real quick um, to my new sweatshirt, Daydreamer. Just felt it was uh, accurate for my channel. But anyways, back to the reading. We're going to do some initial shuffling. And as I do so, keep in mind general intuitive weekly read for the sign of my lovely Sagittarius's. So take what resonates, leave a dozen for somebody else. And um, as always, don't forget to check out those other placements within your chart for more messages. And for whatever reason, I'm feeling need to say, if you don't know your other placements, look up your chart. It helps you understand yourself on a, uh, a different level or on different levels. Okay. Don't know why I felt the need to say that. In your reading. For my lovely Sagittarius is to begin this weekly read for the 4th to the 10th of October, 2021, of course. Wow, first card, the same one came out to begin uh, Aries reading. It feels as if fire signs are very connected this week for whatever reason. Might be meeting up with one, reconnecting with one. What else do we have for, okay. Three out of the five out. Two more to go. Ooh, that one surprised me. One more to go for Sagittarius. Have you been feeling more calm these days for whatever reason, for the most part? Just a feeling. There's an underlining focus on love this week for you, okay? Um, what you sort of look for in a lover. Um, has your taste and um, what appeals to you changed? Interesting. Because, you know, you're obviously changing and growing as an individual. You might sort of feel very drawn to somebody in a loving way uh, that you don't expect to, okay? Feeling there's just love in the air for you. Patience, foggy bog. And so let's clarify this one with the Gilded Terrorial. We're going to clarify each one. Do bear with the background noise. The planes are so annoying. Might be thinking about traveling this week. Okay. What do we have for foggy bog patience? For this patience card for Sag. Okay. Patience with something that isn't progressing as quickly as you want to. Or something that you just are anxious for uh, progression, right? For something to take place. We have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. What isn't happening in, in your life and you're just like, okay, let's get this going. It could be needing more sort of progression with your business or a project or a job. It could be with a relationship, wanting love to come in. Um, patience with other energies around you. Patience with yourself as you heal, okay? Um, patience with your habits as well. Um, needing to sort of work on those to, in order to keep a level of hope alive. Um, a reminder from the universe that you're star in the making when looking for a job or making the best out of one, okay? Or when reconnecting with people. Don't compare yourself to others, I feel the need to say. As well, the Page of Swords, you feel like you're going to be learning a lot about other individuals in your life. Uh, people, situations, gaining new knowledge for a job for some of you. Have patience with yourself as you do that, okay? Um, learning and gaining new ways to improve your business project or whatever it is for you, okay? So, see, so seek out that level of success you deserve. And then we're moving on to Enchanted Fern Grotto Refuge. The names are so interesting for these cards. You can feel very powerful at certain points in the week. Interesting. Your energy is going to be very, maybe confusing for some people, but very sort of commanding. Um, you may be being a bit demanding in certain ways to other people okay so five of wands came out in reverse but i feel like it's meant to be in the upright okay there's going to be some conflict some uh, gossip or some noisy energy around you with refuge being the what it's clarifying it feels like you're going to be reminded that you're protected from all of which okay you have this level of protection surrounding you from the universe Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. It feels like it has a lot to do with uh, messages coming in, maybe sort of harassment on one level, 
or a feeling as if people just, it might have to do with health, okay? Feeling like it's just getting a little bit on edge due to your own health or your family's health, your friend's health, you know? These days, it's totally understandable, okay? But the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords, you just passionately uh, moving forward either way, but feeling a bit depleted or just ready to kind of put certain connections or situation uh, to an end out of respect for your health or for, uh, yeah, just your health in one way, shape, or form, whether that's just for a level of peace, serenity, or just um, your actual physical, um, mental, and just emotional health, okay? It just feels like you could stress out at certain points in the week. Just minimalize it, okay? There's only so much you can do, and you're just reminded that you are protected, okay? Energy, fire spirit. You are a fire sign. At times, I feel like you forget it. You're the free spirit, okay? You need to remember that as well. The lovers, ooh, and the chariot as well as the Seven of Swords, okay? So some of you might find that there's a very energetic connection in your life or coming back into your situation. Um, with the Lovers in the Chariot, you going after a new lover, okay? A new romantic situation. There may be a level of secrecy or you just keeping this uh, affair or uh, love situation, this connection very secretive on the down low, not wanting people to get involved or judge you or not wanting it to be jinxed in one way, shape, or form, but feeling like you're bonding with certain energies uh, in a romantic way or just even friends, you know, feeling as if you're just ready to kind of move towards more successful friendships, right? Different friends, feeling like you're ready to switch it up. You know, you are a free spirit and you kind of just want to roam around and bond with people and uh, just do things your way. And you're going to be reminded by the universe that's totally okay and people are gonna just kinda have to accept that you can't be tied down. You know, if that's in terms of love or love relationship, I'm not gonna try and give you advice on that, but it's just, you're gonna be giving off this vibe. Like I love working with and dealing with, bonding with a lot of energies. You can't sort of hold me back from bonding with people, right? This commanding sort of, maybe again, demanding um, presence about you coming from these two images right here, okay? Don't mess with the Sag. Moonlight and um, enchantment magic. It's going to be a magical week to say the least, okay? Let's further clarify this one. People will be noticing your work in one way, shape, or form. Um, what you've been working on or the changes you're implementing. I mean, you're commanding this attention, so how can they not look? Ooh, that one flew out, oddly enough. The Seven of Pentacles. This one's meant to be in the upright as well as the Queen of Swords. You sort of feeling magical and special, um, not afraid to make decisions as to who and what's coming with you moving forward or what's actually healthy for you. Um, it could be you sort of feeling quite magical when working, right? Feeling like you have that golden touch or just um, feeling very skilled at whatever you're working on. I'm going to pull another one. The High Priestess. There's certain points in the week where you're going to feel very angelic, okay? Floating through the week, um, floating through situations, feeling like it's easy to sort of float away from people in situations that aren't sort of working for you and not feeling guilty about it, not feeling bad about it at all, okay? Emotionally going after what you desire at this time and just being unapologetic, okay? Good for you. We're moving on to Standing Stones Passage. Okay, this is the last and final card. And let's clarify this one for my lovely Sagittarius's. Way too many. Way too many. Messing up my cards. One more time for passage for Sagittarius. Cards are startling me. Two of Pentacles. All right, so you're gonna have a lot of decisions to make this week, feeling like you're going through a balancing act between socializing um, worrying about health or this or that at work. Um, it just feels like you have a lot to balance out. Going back to the Queen of Swords, deciding who's coming with you. Um, doors are opening for you if you so choose. With the Empress, as I say that, you're getting ready to give birth to a beautiful idea, a new start, uh, a new job, new friendships, whatever the case may be, a new love situation for some of you. Um, just wanting to sort of Again, switch it up for whatever reason. Feeling things have been a bit stale recently. 
for some of you not feeling sort of content staying at home uh, you have a lot of options right and it's because you're sort of a passionate fiery fire sign um feeling like yeah you're still blossoming you're still growing but screw it i deserve all these options right and it's a sort of uh feeling that because you don't sort of you're not afraid to cut people place and situations out or welcome in new ones therefore the universe is like okay well then you're making room for new choices new options new opportunities to feel abundant feeling like your cup is truly overflowing while your third eye opens to your inner truth okay about certain situations about what you truly desire who you truly desire okay and we have more that came out wow just feeling ready to go especially at the end of the week towards something new ready to sail away or fly away um thinking about traveling once again thinking a lot about your money your financial situation your career starting uh something new um some of you will be pushed by the universe to put an idea that you've had for a while about a business or a project something of the sort to use put it out into the universe throw it out and um don't throw it out put it out into the universe and I truly feel it will be successful, okay? It's a week of endings, new beginnings, and success for you, all right? So I hope this reading was truly helpful. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you have the most amazing week, and I'll see you next time. Bye, Sag.